Hey, what's up, trendsetters? Welcome to my channel. This is my first video. I'm going to be filming a Q&A mukbang featuring my cheese pizza, <laughs> red pepper flakes that I'm going to be adding, and a glass of water. I had to put it in a glass to make sushi. I want to be about um, face based things. I love to do beauty videos, workout videos, so fitness, health, and wellness and just videos you know like vlogs and like lifestyle videos okay so let's hop into the first question if you could live anywhere where would that be honestly I really don't know only because I really haven't been many places um I would probably say somewhere down south maybe like North Carolina because that's where my family's from um and that's where you know, aside from where I'm from, which is Maryland, um, that's where I've spent most of my time. Okay, next question. Where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself, um, I don't know. I see myself very successful. When I say successful, I don't mean in like a monetary way, more so like just successful, like doing kingdom work doing the will of God and just bringing people closer to God, whether that's through social media, through YouTube, or just, you know, everyday life and where I work. Um, I am in school and I'm a nursing major, so um, I'm five years I'll be a nurse. Um, and I would definitely, you know, spread the word and the gospel to people, um, no matter where I am or where I work. That is my goal. Um, I do also um, see myself, I, I do also see myself married, and, okay, so let me actually eat some of this before I keep going into the question, I actually am really hungry. Bro, this looks so good. And then, I just got my lashes done, and I try not to rub it in there because I know that messes it up, but I have allergies. I'm over here rubbing my eye, don't judge me. Okay. So I'm going to take a bite and then I'll answer another question. Okay, so this next question is how tall are you? <laughs> I love this question because I'm tall. I'm 5'9". Five 5'9 nine. Five nine and fine. <laughs> Okay, what are your career goals? As of now, I want to be a, um, a NICU nurse. Um, well, honestly, I shouldn't even say that because I haven't even gotten into the program yet, but I would say I just want to be a nurse. Um, favorite color? <laughs> honestly, it's green, but my favorite color to wear is black got a black cape. I'm wearing black and my Instagram is black. But I love emerald green. I'm like a rich, deep mineral green. Okay. Um, favorite song? Honestly, I really don't have one. So my best answer would be maybe a genre. I really like gospel music. Um, like I really listen to a lot music and not just like Christian music but like old school gospel music. I'm an old head at heart. So I actually use um for shampoo I use Olaplex. Excuse me. I use Olaplex for the shampoo and conditioner and sometimes I'll use Prime Essentials. Excuse me. Um yeah like when I had color hair like my honey blonde colored hair I used a lot of design essentials and like color safe shampoos or like moisturizing shampoos but now I use Olaplex because my hair is pretty much grown out it's like dark brown um, yeah Olaplex for shampoo and conditioner for like a deep conditioning mask I'll use I think it's main choice yeah I use main choice 
And then for my styling stuff, like a moisturizer, I use Design Essentials Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Oh my gosh, the chef's kiss. It's really good. Um, I do plan on eventually making like a nice curly hair routine video because I do get a lot of questions or I used to get a lot of questions um, about, you know, like how I get my hair curly or like what products I use and how I care for it and stuff like that. What is your wash and grow routine? So honestly, I don't have one because I don't really like wash and grow. Um, yeah, I don't do one, but I guess the closest answer to what you're asking would be, I just wash it and then I kind of just put my moisturizer in and I'll either put it in like two buns, like two little space buns. How tall are you? Five nine favorite food i love italian food like italian food um i like caribbean food too Mexican food i love soul food like i said i'm a southern girl so like i was raised on soul food and southern food um but i would say italian that's my favorite aka the pizza <laughs> okay favorite things to do honestly I feel like I'm still discovering that, but I really, really, really like working out. I like working out, and I would also say maybe traveling. I could see myself, you know, traveling a lot in the future. Okay, what's your five-year plan? That's a really good question. Honestly, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not going to say I go with the flow. I really don't. I actually kind of hate when people say that, but I'm really just trusting God because I, I don't know. I just let him lead the way. Because <laughs> what I think is good for me is not always best for me. So I don't really have one, but I guess I would say, um, like, what I have in mind <clears throat> would be obviously finishing school, getting married, you know, starting my career, having kids. I definitely want kids. <laughs> Why is this guy real? This question says, um, I love that you're starting YouTube. I'm definitely going to follow and support. Oh, thank you. That means so much because it's taken me a lot just to even cut this camera on. <laughs> um, what made or inspired you to start or have you always wanted to do it? What kind of content ideas are you going for? And do you think you would ever want to do vlogs? I don't know if you like watching vlogs on YouTube, but I love those. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to answer this. And then there's another part to this question, or parts, because it's multiple parts. So, um, what made or inspired you to start, or have you always wanted to do it? So, what inspired me? Honestly, that's a good question. I actually would say, like, hair videos, natural hair videos, and curly hair videos. Um, I just, I learned so much from it, and, like, women on YouTube, shout out to Lissetti and Jujubee. I watch them a lot. I've always wanted to do YouTube. I've wanted to do YouTube since middle school. I actually got a camera for Christmas when I was like, okay, so middle school, I was probably like 12 or 13. And I wanted to start a YouTube channel, you know, to help and inspire other women to wear their hair natural. And just like, I don't know, just beauty videos and stuff like that. Okay. So this is my favorite question. Um, <clears throat> that's actually why I saved it for last. Because I truly believe, like, this is going to be the question that kind of carries me into my channel and what I wanted it to be about. So I'm so glad that this person asked me this question because I really think this is going to be the best way for you guys to get to know me and also understanding maybe, like, what my channel is going to be about. The question was way too long to type in the box below, but I've recently given my life to Christ about a year ago. 
I'm addicted to smoking weed, but ever since I've given up my life to Christ, it's like the urge to smoke makes me immediately depressed because I know I shouldn't be doing it. But it's so hard for me to stop because my body is so conditioned to be in pain. I pray about stopping all the time, but it just feels like the urge never goes away. But like I said, it's so depressing every time I go to smoke. It's like it's so hard to stop, but I really want to. Do you have any tips I should go about this? Or any tips that I should, I guess, use to go about this? Or what types, what type of things I should say and then pray? That chili flavor is my favorite. Um, okay, so this is a really good question. <laughs> so, okay, let me do piece by piece. So first off, like, never feel condemned. Um, because I do feel like that kind of like hinders your relationship with God, feeling like you're not enough or you're just not, I don't know, you're not worthy of his grace and his love, but God is extremely um, merciful, graceful, and patient, and he says, come to me, come to him, excuse me, as you are. So I really believe that just seeking him, abiding in him, and praying is a really good way to, um, like, one, to stop smoking, but also just to better your relationship with him anyway, and um, your life, because having a good relationship with God really does change your life around, um, and I can attest to that in my personal experience, and also for a lot of people, honestly, I can speak for a lot of people that I know, that when they develop Um, but honestly, I would start with, obviously, prayer, um, and just talk to him the way that you would to a friend, you know, um, obviously be respectful, <laughs> but I definitely would say, like, you know, come to him and talk to him as if he was one of your friends, and, you know, just be open, like, hey, God, like, I feel convicted about what I'm doing, I don't want to do it, I need you to help me, you know get over the temptation or to you know look past it because sometimes like god i think there's a scripture um he will never give us more than we can handle or he'll ne never tempt us beyond our ability i don't know i'm sorry i'm gonna insert the scripture i don't want to cite it wrong but basically like that's a really good reassuring scripture because he really does you know he's always there for us and even in times when we're really fighting the temptation Right. You can just get down on your knees and pray or just close your eyes. Or maybe don't even close your eyes. Just pray to him. You know, um, he'll accept you with open arms no matter who you are, no matter what you've done. And I know people aren't going to like me for that one, but it's true. Regardless of what you've done, regardless of who you are, God still loves you. Um, and yeah, fasting is really good too. That's like a good way to really be in his presence and humble yourself. It's a good way, you know, to show God that he knows best and that um, he has the ultimate power in our lives. I definitely strongly believe in fasting and just being in his spirit. Um, or being in the spirit. Um, fasting. Oh, another thing is... To this water Excuse me. Um. So what I was gonna say is, I should have seen this better angle. Okay, but why didn't I do this sooner? <laughs> I honestly was trying to get the food, but that didn't really work out. So another um, good tip is to watch your eyes and your ears. You're open. Those are gates. Um, those are ways that you feed your soul. And if you're listening, for example, if you're listening to music that has cuss words or music about sex or music about smoking or drinking and you're trying not to do those things, excuse me, listening to music that contains all of that is going to just feed your mind, feed your soul, feed your mind, feed your everything. 
So what you feed yourself, what you feed your soul, is what's going to come out. So if you want to stop doing those things, you shouldn't watch people do that. You shouldn't watch movies of that. You shouldn't, you know, you have to kind of like, I guess abstain would be a good word, or remove yourself from that. Um, so that, that, one, you're also not tempting yourself um, and making it harder. Um, it does get easier, and it's, before you know it, it's going to be a piece of cake. There'll be people doing it around you, and it won't even bother you or tempt you. Um, but definitely watch, like, what you feed yourself, what you watch, what you listen to. Music is very important. Um, honestly, that's why I try. I'm not going to say I always listen to gospel music. I do like R&B and soul, but for the most part, I do listen to gospel music because I like the words that are in it, I like the lyrics, it's reassuring, it has a lot of scripture in it, and honestly, it's just very applicable to life, um, just like the Bible, because it's the word, <laughs> and it's feeding, it's, you know, it's the, God's the living water, so the music that you're listening to, and, you know, because it's also sometimes the word, you're feeding yourself, and you're watering that plant, so that also helps you grow, um, and I'm all about, you know, having a growth mindset, being better so I really feel like that's important okay <laughs> but I'm mad that I didn't do this camera angle the whole time so yeah.